gentlemen, this is the Chinese super server leaderboard we're looking at right now. This is my account. Only gold on the server, but this is the leaderboard. 2200 is rank one. Today's video, guys, the rank five player. 1900 LP. We're going to be doing a video on him. He is the world's number one Fiora player that everybody fears on this server and bans his champions. Let's jump onto the rift, break it down, and see what this guy does so well that makes him succeed on this champion. Welcome to the top lane. Up against an Aurelia. Now, watch how he plays these early games. He's a psychopath. I've played on the Chinese Super Server, and top laner is the most influential role in these games because both tops run Ignite. They play Darius, they play Fiora, play Aurelia, Aatrox, and then it's 1v1 over and over. One player is going 0 20, the other player is going 20 0. And you can just see, looks for the vitals, gets a couple. And now Aurelia is out of lane, has to use potion, and she's screwed. 14 Fiora does this every game. He ego checks the enemy into trying to take a fight. He prays for good vitals and he takes he takes them down. He will just run top and 1v1 over and over and over until the game is over. It is such a fun style. The problem is, if you're not mechanical and smart, you will int and you'll be useless and your team will flame and you'll probably get banned. You understand me? Sends the Irelia back to base. Just slowly last hitting here. He's going to crash a massive wave. If you could... If you could stack this next wave and dive with your jungle, the Irelia's life is over. You should be pinging for the Lilia. You might just look for it solo. Moves in, gets W, gets the vital, gets some autos. Auto, no tower aggro, perfect. And there's two Fiora mains in high elo in Korea. There's this guy called 14 Fiora. Then there's JJ King, a guy that a lot of people know about outplaying Wanda on his Chinese uh, at Worlds in 2020. Now, JJ King is a crazy Fiora player, but he doesn't get anywhere near the ranks that 14 Fiora does. He's like a box box, I guess. But he's not an actual high, 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 high rank player like this guy. As we look for the dive, W gets everything off, gets the Q, gets the dive, and she misses the entire wave. And he doesn't have to flash. You honestly, like... Oh, these type of players are so hard to verse because... They're the player that it's like, damn, is he in that bush? Is he there? Is he going to take this fight? The answer is always yes. He's always in the bush. He's always going to take the fight. And if you're looking to play this type of champion, go for it, guys. I couldn't recommend it enough. But you have to have the mechanics and the confidence to back it up. Otherwise, don't bother. Go play Lulu top like me. Now, this is the last patch. The China doesn't get the durability patch for a little bit later. The wave is actually going to get frozen. Next patch, Fiora is going to be even stronger. Like, the durability patch is going to be so good for her. I think these bruises, like Aurelia, Fiora, I think Yone, Yasuo are doing well. Just the bruiser itemization of being able to go things like the Death Dance. Even things like the Sundra. We W. We don't land the stun on the Aurelia. We fully stack Conqueror. She has no flash. There's no way for her to live, I don't think. Q's in. Auto. Gets the E. And I don't think he can shove this, right? I thought you'd look for like some type of uh, negative base. But he has to trim the wave a little bit so it doesn't crash. Let's see. Aye. Oh my god. Oh. He's in such an awkward spot here because he needs to base. But if he... I mean, he could base right now, but they're really going to be back in the lane like 10 seconds. And she'll insta-shove. He doesn't want to miss a wave. So he goes for the negative recall, but I really is going to be able to stop this. I don't think he... Wing it. Can he win the 1v1? W stop. Bone plating out. He wants to stay for level 6. Irelia has to all in before 6, otherwise it's over. Q's in. Irelia is finally going for it. Vital hit. W in. Dude, he just insta W's for... I'm so tilted for this Irelia. She's going to int this game so hard. He doesn't even wait a lot of the time for skill shots and stuff with the W. He just gets pure raw damage out. I wonder if because in high elo, they kind of know and they don't throw their abilities. I don't know. 13 to 44 CS. And he's going to go for the plate. 
Your E, they you accuse through damage to towers, and your E does crit to turn to towers, guys. So don't forget about those type of mechanics. Rolling back into lane now. I want to see if this Irelia can turn it back. I really don't think so. And it's interesting to note how prominent Lilia and Kled. These champions are picked so often in China, but they never get picked in my Korean games. Look for the 2v2. We get the Irelia. Now looking for the Diana. W was used. Should have been an easy kill. Can save his jungler. And that is a massive turn for his team here. I think that uh, Diana was worth a little bit of a bounty. She was 5-1 and one before that fight. Take her down. And now the Irelia is never going to be able to do 1v1s from here. So we are going to start working towards plate, towards herald, towards objectives, okay? Doesn't, once you kill someone this often, they're just worth less and less, and it's diminishing, it's diminishing returns. A lot of top laners here just keep 1v1ing until they inevitably lose, or go too aggressive and lose the bounty. Start playing for farm, start playing for objectives, guys. So we have 5-1. and one. It's the vital. And I don't play enough of... It's weird, by the way, he actually normal casts his Qs. Don't you think that's strange? Ignite Q. Looks for the E. Oh, Wanted to kill under turret again, but... Actually doesn't get it. And that's, a, as I said, massive bounty over to the Aurelia. And she's back in the game now. It, it game slipped this easily. As we get the Gore Drinker at 8 minutes. I think it's 8 minutes now. We should start looking for the Herald setup. We have... Taking, oh my god, this Ezreal. We're taking two plates in the top lane tower, so obviously we can get it. The nice little Herald charges, use the Gore Drinker to clear out. Now what champions counter Fiora? Hmm. I like ranged champions. If you're a psychopath, you can play Vayne top on the current patch. As he just waits. Do you see how the Irelia is actually pretty smart? She doesn't throw all her abilities to get the stun. Interesting 1v1. I actually... I thought he was going to W the ultimate. But then he baited it in. Popped the ult. Got it like two or three vitals and it's just done. Chinese Fiora is notorious for monta montages where they just insta-proc the vitals in less than a second. Which is like your whole health bar, by the way. So it's percent health, so it does like Whoa. you're always going to get nuked. As they start the Herald up... He wants those double buffs. I don't think she can live. One more vital. Cute. Auto. And now the Irelia. Oh god. Another vital. The game becomes so fun at this point. It's just going to be a montage. I'm looking forward to it. Dude, you, when you hit this type of power spike and you feel it in game, it just feels like you can, relative, especially next patch, like the patch that we're currently on. Dude, you can just 1v9, take 1v1 after 1v1 with how much healing and outplay potential you have on this champion. So we take down the tower. And it's curious, we don't see this, we don't see this champion in pro play anymore. We see some cool champions. I saw Riven was picked the other day by Broken Blade, but mostly they don't work. One, two, three. Don't even use the W. Oh, he got all four. What the hell? Yeah, I don't... I mean, look. At this stage, what do you do against a Fira like this? You have to FF the game. Because if you go towards her, you would get 1v1 or 1v2 and die. If you go against her, she's going to take the whole map like this. I think it, I, there's no better time to start learning. Uh, I'll play top laner like Fiora right now on this. Guys, guys, the patch that we're all on, durability patch, I guarantee she's stronger. Team fights last so much longer. There's way more outplay potential. As we back with 4,000 gold. Jesus. So we have the Gore Drinker. We have Ravenous. And now we make our way towards the Death Dance. And once you have those three cores... I mean... They're... Like, dude. 
it, it the automization for bruises in my opinion is too good. It's furious is an absolute psycho. I still find it weird that he normal casts his Qs. And he manually just ult hit his ult. Like gets cleared to tank it, thank you very much. As he is having a lot of fun here, Cled. Oh my god. <laughs> Giga Chad. No way this keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> As he moves back in. Okay. He's not done, by the way. And once he gets his death dance, it's gonna be even worse. Like, ah, uh, we'll keep watching. I'm interested to see how this game gets played out. But 14 Fiora, ladies and gents, this is the guy everyone fears in the top lane. You have that um Chao Che Men guy who plays the set, the Darius top, the Aatrox, those Bruiser champs. But then 14 Fiora just plays Fiora, counters all of them. Does so well into the Chinese top lane bruiser style. And I'm wondering if he would get as high a rank in Korea. I know he's hit challenger in Korea, but I'm not sure how high he's climbed before. I hope they get someone to verify it for me. I know he had a 900 LP maybe account in Korea at one point. I don't think him and TF Blade versed each other, unfortunately, or Baos. Okay. Sure. What do you? I mean, I know what he wants. I don't know what he's saying though. And that is the definition of the world's greediest chase. And this happens on the Chinese server, super server all the time. People complain about the Korean server having like no macro, but dude, it's even worse in China. It's even worse, I swear to God. You have big streamers at the moment all complaining about how... So we're eating something. I might skip ahead as I get a goddamn wrapper in my ear. Okay, we have the Holy Trinity. We have completed the death dance. Enemy team. I mean, they're holding on slightly. Move forward. Find the graves. Ultimate. Proc. Q's through. Can't quite get the ultimate. He's still going to chase the graves. As that guy just panicked. I don't know what he did. 15 and 3. Looking for the flank behind the team fight. Enemy team just won't stop fighting. And I swear, Chinese Super 7 dudes... Some of the games just feel like bronze. Because there's not a lot of farming or thought process goes into these. Get the 1v3. Get another vital. And we come through for the ace. Back to full health we go. And you don't even need to build. Dude, I'm convinced you don't even need to build any more, any more, any more items on this champion. You can just leave your inventory as three. You don't need anything more. It's just not fair. Goes forward, hits the ultimate. Too much healing. Hits that ult. He's gonna heal back to full with the passive. As I'm pretty sure if he has flash, ignite, everything, he could do a 1v5 if he played it right. Not many other champions can do it. In the top lane. I'm thinking Aurelia, but even Aurelia struggles a lot with CC. Both champions have the W ability to help out, but... I'm wondering what he builds. He's hovering Hullbreaker. Ah. Uh, force. He's scared of the Diana damage. He wants some... Ah. Uh, you don't need more damage here, so he just gets the Force of Nature, giving you some extra magic resist. Make you kick it tanky. He has death dance. Still caps for the armor.
And I actually think you can play Fiora mid at the moment. I think it's an underrated pick. There's some specific matchups that you can play this champion into. Mainly things like the Galio or even... Oh. W stun, it lands, and he inhales the karma. There's plenty of other bruiser type mid lane matchups, like short range you could play it into. You want to play into a Yasuo. As he gets his 21st kill. And this is just... This is just not really that fair at the moment. Pentakill. And you can see when a champion like or play like this gets ahead, it's just not fun. Makes his way to the woods, the GA. There's so many different items you could really go on this champ. Probably doesn't even matter, as I said. And I'm just starting to learn the new new patch, by the way. I think champions like Azir mid. I think Victor is good. I think Talia is still very good. Uh, Talia is really pick banned at the moment in Korea for me. I can't get my hands on the champ. But uh, it seems like burst mages like Vex and Zoe are out. And in are the more durable or DPS mids. Uh, okay, that's what's just... Here, here, here. That's just sad, man. Was it really necessary? Oh, <laughs> it's no way. Does it work? Yep. Just fewer things. We have enough for the GA now. 28 kills in 20 minutes. And this is what I'm talking about in China, by the way. A lot of the games feel like this where... They don't FF or give up. Like in Korea, dude, they sit in base, right? In China, they leave base and they just keep fighting until they're zero. Over and over and over again. Is it more enjoyable? I mean, every game just feels like a bloodbath, I guess. Depends what you're into. But yeah, I think it's pretty fun. Obviously, you're on, if you're on the other side of this, it's pretty boring. But in China, at least, like, they're going to battle it out and try and make some outplays and have fun with it. Eh? I feel like in Korea they take it a little bit too like more serious, if you know what I mean. But maybe that's just the Chinese super server that I observe, because most of them are high level players. I don't know. Moves in. Sits. Okay. I don't even need like I don't even know if I want to narrate it. It's just he's that far ahead at this point. Thirty-one kills. Nice, 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 nice. And he doesn't want to end. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Come out of base, I dare you. Ultimate almost up. Looking for the 1v4. Takes Karma down, gets the healing. Looking for the Graves now. Oh! Trolled that so hard, man. Lily could have ended, obviously. He's just playing around with it. GA doesn't get proc because he's tanking fountain turret damage, apparently. And I'm just going to skip forward. I want to see the ending. Here we go, boys. Final fight. Sold the GA for a hull breaker. Has flash. And he's a little bit scared here. Double inhib take just to make sure. Bates in. Bates in the Diana. It doesn't really work out too well. As they take the turret. And he's just wanting to outplay. Goes in. 1v4. W proc. Gets the... Almost gets the kill. Can he kill? 
Gets the kill. Gets the full ultimate. He's just playing with his food. End the game, bro. They have families. Thirty-five. Do we see thirty-six? Thirty-five kills. Fourteen Fiora boys. That's him. Crazy top laner. I'll see you all on the next video. Thank you for watching. Catch us later. Peace.